Hi all, welcome back to more Imperion. How here with the Iron Man challenge beginning. As you can see, we are in survival mode with using the seed 312017, starting on Omicron with our default, our difficulty preset set to medium. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing started. Yay! Look, we're approaching the surface of a planet. Let's head west because we want as much time as we can get. Actually, that looks like bases already. Am I seeing a drone base over there? Oh god. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's see, do we have any water nearby? We do have some water nearby. This is actually a pretty good seed. Should be uh, rather interesting since we're starting on a medium start. I'm either going to die very quickly or not quickly at all. We'll see how this goes. All right, quick, grab it before it gets too far away. Take it all. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch our drill in, get our pistol going. We've got water down there. Got everything? Yeah, okay. So we're going to go ahead and switch this over here to get this going. First things first, let us get, oh, see, that's all stuff that we can use to complete the uh, starting, hmm, pardon me, the starting quest. Got hiccups today. Oh, let's see. Now I'm trying to figure out where's a good place to set up a base. We've got iron right there. That's pretty good. Now, I'm kind of surprised we didn't find any minerals on the way in. Well, that's bad. That's not a good way to start a challenge of survival. All right, so, got iron and magnesium. Look at that. All right, let's see what's over. Do we have anything over there? No. Now, we have a couple of bases over here. Um, what I'm more worried about right now is actually finding the place for us to set up a base than I am about the XP. Now, having the XP would actually be nice, but I don't want to risk going over to those bases, uh, mainly because of the fact that we're not allowed to engage them as part of this. So uh, yeah, welcome to the Iron Man Challenge. What we are going to be doing is basically each week, the people who have made it through the challenge from the previous week will be taking on a new random challenge. It could be anything from building a ship to destroying a drone base or whatever the, the challenge has to be. And the catch is, is that we're not allowed to die at all. If you die due to starvation, um, asphyxiation, anything, you know, out of the competition. So now there are some, um, I don't want to say exceptions. Well, I guess exceptions is a good word for it, but basically if it's because of a, a bug in the game, like you get, you know, you fall through the world and die, you know, there's a, there will be a vote by the participating members as to whether or not that, that, that death will count. Um, I'm, ex I'm pretty much expecting the death to almost always count. So let's turn on our soup light here. See if we can start getting into the magnesium a little bit. It's nice to find this early. Now I thought I had thought about live streaming the beginning of this, um, but I decided not to because I tend to get a little bit more distracted when I'm live streaming uh, because I'm paying attention to what's going on in chat, not necessarily what's going on in front of me in the game. And as you know, that is kind of a bad thing. So, right. so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this. Now, I am going to be doing pretty much everything on camera. I will cut out some of the things like the load screens, uh, like when we're starting in, or like with the, uh, the launch here. I showed you the launch, showed you going into the load screen, and then I showed coming out of the load screen. Simply because of the fact that I don't want you sitting there for, you know, two minutes while the game loads. <laughs> so, or however long the load happens to be. Oh, I have to say, this is a much better start than the Ninga's start. So, we are going to grab that because we do want the stone. Now, how much magnesium do I have? I haven't reloaded this thing yet, so. Which is good because it means that 
you know, we're going to have plenty of uh, fuel. But I am tempted to go ahead and just mine out one of these, like completely mine this thing out before we start getting the, uh, the NPC, the hostile NPC spawns. Because as you know, the first 24 hours in game is pretty much a free pass. Um, with the bases being the obvious exception. One of the things that I would like to do is to find our points of interest bases. So what I will probably do is try to get to level 5 as quickly as possible. Uh, we've been told that the first week all we have to do is really show the beginning of everything. That's our, that's our challenge for this week. Um, we are allowed to do things off camera that, you know, we're not recording. The one thing is, is that we're being asked to be honest about the death. And I think there's a way to do that on the console, like you can bring up your player statistics. Um, I don't remember though. So I'm going to be doing, mo like I said, I'm going to be doing mo most things on camera. Just so that everybody can see it. I don't want, you know, there to be any question of whether or not I did something off camera or anything like that. So, yeah. But good luck to the, uh, to our competitors. Hopefully everybody has fun and is able to make it through each week. I mean, it'd be really bad to get eliminated this week. <laughs> Especially, like, if you're just not paying attention and land over near the over the, uh, the bases and such. Now, if you do engage with the hostile territories or the hostile POIs, uh, that is grounds for disqualification. So even if you are able to successfully take them out, you still get knocked out of the competition. So. Now, I will have a playlist set up uh, for this competition specifically, and I will be adding a section to my uh, my channel page that will have all of the competitors there, um, so you'll be able to go directly over and take a look. And I will link that at the end of the videos on the end plate. There will be a playlist, a link back to the playlist, um, so that you'll be able to go back and take a look and see what other people are doing. All right, so how much of this do we have? 136. We do need to get the uh, the assault rifle going as soon as possible. All right. And then before anyone asks uh, who else is participating, because I know that's probably on your mind at this point, because well, you know, it is a competition. It's always good to know who else is competing in this. Uh, we are ha we have Captain Adonis, Mahula, like a boss, P PJ Dog Ten Mom. Um, I'm not familiar with her, so uh, some of the other folks that I I've seen around the Imperion, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say the community. Uh, we've also got CL Mech, Papa Rob, who is one of the subscribers actually. Uh, as well as Grandpa's Gaming, which is another subscriber. They both have, well, everybody has their own YouTube channels, obviously. Uh, Grandpa and Papa are kind of a match set. If you find one, you'll find the other, usually. <laughs> so... <laughs> and then, obviously, you have me, Zanfan, J uh, GMR, and Lord Jericho. Now, I, like I said, I've only seen a few of the folks, so this is going to be an interesting uh, introduction to some of them uh, for me. So we will see how this goes, but from what I have seen from the folks that I have uh, seen that are involved in the challenge, everyone puts out really good content. Everybody in the, in the challenge is putting out great content from what I've seen so far, so definitely go check them out if you haven't already, especially so you can see what they're doing in this challenge as well. Oh, okay, so we are heading west. Good. So I'm thinking what I may do, because we're on Omicron, I may end up building my base down in the valleys here, because I'm hoping that there is... A, uh, a good POI over here somewhere. Let's take a look. So we got this. Let's head. Let's actually let's go up on top of the hill and see if we can get up there. 
what I want to do is I want to take a look and see if we've got anything in the immediate area because it would be kind of funny to to go all the way around this thing and there's like a, a great POI right there on the, the other side of the planet right? or on the other side of the mountain. I've been known to do stupid stuff like that before. Of course, I didn't grab any of the iron either, did I? That's the magnesium we just left. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking I may go grab some of that iron too. How much iron do we start with? Oh, 10 ingots? Oh crap, yeah. Hal, you're not off to a good start here, buddy. All right. Let's go grab this stuff. And I, like I said, I'm probably going to end up building like in one of these ravines. Over oh. The crap. <laughs> I keep forgetting that was added to the game. All right. Let's see if we can go ahead and refuel this. What I may do is I may change my plan and head for the lake and go pick up uh, some of the the seaweed over there so we can make more fuel for this thing. All right. So let's go ahead and get in here. Hey, crushed stone, always a, always a good thing to find early on. Like I said, I will be using a lot of crushed stone early because I'm going to use that to make the, uh, the cement to make concrete blocks. Which is one of the reasons why I want to build underground is so I don't have to worry so much about having a large amount of iron for uh, building. Because once we find the POIs, we can, we'll be able to strip mine the POIs for materials. That's going to save us a lot of time and effort. Um, but before we get there, we have to have some of our stuff set up and ready to go. Right, so let's go ahead and get more of this going. First day in game is always the stressful day in game. Alright, so... It's always nice to get a lot of iron. I can't believe I almost walked past this iron node and didn't start mining it out. Just shows you my, my head is not in the game right now. Alright. So. Need to get it in the game, right? Get all this up and running. See, ideally what we would find is like an iron deposit next to a body of water, uh, like we did on Ninga's. Where we'd be able to build into it, like dig in under it, and then basically just mine it out. And then build the base as we uh, empty out the, uh, the ore deposit. That's what I would like to do. Um, but like I said, I want to get as much of this out as possible just so that we have the, the materials that we need because this is where we're really going to need the materials is the early game. You're going to need the iron, you're going to need the magnesium especially since we do have drones turned on. Um, it's one of those we really need to be able to defend our base because I mean I could play like the first couple of days or the first couple of challenges I could probably do as a nomad um, but my experience is is that the stuff that we're probably going to want or need is going to require at least a full crafting station if not a uh, an advanced crafting station so we're just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of this out I like when iron mines actually work. Let's see here, so we'll grab a little bit more of this. Oh, so yeah, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to this whole competition thing. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Like I said, I haven't seen much from some of the folks in the competition. Um, just in the, I haven't seen a lot of their content. Sort. And some folks I haven't seen, I really haven't watched any of their stuff. I just uh, unfortunately haven't had time for the last like month or so to really sit down and watch YouTube. Uh, between recording and editing and the stuff going on in my own life, 
being sick a couple of weeks ago where I basically got nothing done. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting time, so... Let's see here... Alright, how much... 150 iron, 179 magnesium. Let's go ahead and take a little bit more of the iron out. I figure we'll go ahead and just drill until we run out of fuel for the uh, for the iron. Once I have to reload, I'll move on to the next resource, which will probably be Promethean or maybe copper or silicon if we find it. So the thing is, with copper and silicon, you don't use much of it at a given time. You know, like for each item that you use, or the, each item that you make, because you get, you know, two, two, three, or whatever, like two or five, ten, depending on what the item you're making, uh, for each ingot that you use generally. So it's um, it's nice in that regards. All right. Why am I not? able to jump all right that was weird all right let's go see I should be able to jump and it's not jumping there for some reason hmm I'm wondering if something changed as you can see we are on 5.5.1 um, let's see Okay, so still not seeing anything. And like I said, I think I'm gonna run over. That would be a drone, large cannon drone, it looks like. Like a large minigun drone, maybe. But what we're looking for is we're looking for. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the lake, pick up. Is that the drone base? That would be a drone base over there. All right. So it might not be a bad idea to set up shop over here if we can find some more resources. It's going to be the resources that are the uh, the big problem here. Okay, so looks like the drone base is over there, like right there. Now, for those who don't know, you can kind of cheat it a little bit when you're looking for POIs. Basically, if you come in on the map, let me show you here. You can see where there's these unnatural craters cut into the terrain, even if you've not seen uh, the area. Let me show you over here, because when we were coming down in our landing craft, if you notice, it looks like there's like one maybe in here. And one right there. So if you look around, if you take time and just look at the map carefully, you can usually see where the points of interest are probably spawning. Um, but you know, it's one of those, eh, you can do it if you want, don't have to. All right. So now the first thing we need to do is I'm down to, whoa, I'm almost out of oxygen. Need to be paying attention to this stuff, Hal. All right, so we're gonna get the emergency oxygenation system online. Now we do want, like I said, I do want to come in here and see if we can find some kelp. What I may do is I may place the survival constructor and everything underwater. Um, because that tends to be safe from attack. But I'm wondering if this is too actually too deep for the kelp to spawn. Because that is... That almost looks like the bedrock layer. Am I swimming under the... Let me check something here. All right, so we're going to go drop the emergency constructor, drop the uh, emergency oxygen system. You see, I'm not seeing anything down here, so I'm guessing this is this water is just too deep. <sighs> Doesn't that figure? 
So hopefully we will get... Some seaweed. I really want. I really need the seaweed so that I can start making more uh, materials. But what I want to do is I want to put the oxygen system somewhere where it's not going to get easily attacked. And I was thinking underwater would be a good way to do it, but just not seeing. Oh, there's some. Whew. I'm starting to freak out there. I'm like, come on, man. There's got to be some around here, right? Maybe I was wrong about the seed. Maybe I don't like the seed anymore. How close are we to the shore? we got to be close to the shore by now. Okay, we are. And this is one of the reasons why I was talking about maybe building in the valleys over there is because when we get the drone attacks coming in on the base, because once we do build the base, we are going to have to deal with the drones. And I'm thinking that it might be easier to deal with them over there uh, because then I can build my the entrance to my base down in the bottom of one of those areas. Um, you know what I might do? Now we have found no resource over here and I'm almost to the southern border. That's not good. Okay, let's see how close... Actually, no, I, before I go any further, because I don't want to run into an issue where we have... Actually, let's do this somewhat in order so that the game does not yell at me. So now we're just going to go ahead and add... So let's turn this thing on. We're going to have it create a fuel pack and the motorbike and while we're here we're gonna go ahead and eat this simply because we can we have stomach pills so I'm not too worried about food poisoning early on but I am very worried about oxygen and we need to get the oxygen placed here so let's go ahead and place that now. I don't have any... Oh. It's like, wait a minute, I should have fuel. Why don't I have fuel? And this is going to be, what, every two minutes or so? Every... Yeah, every two minutes we get, we'll get at least one bottle. Um, hopefully that'll be fast enough. Okay. We'll get this. I'm going to drop that off. I'm going to drop that off because I don't plan on using the chainsaw. Don't need the water, don't need the flashlight. We're going to keep the emergency rations on us. We're going to keep the biofuel on us. And then what do I need to make more biofuel? I need five seaweed. I've got two. Ugh. Okay, so while we're waiting for the O2 to produce, we're going to go get some, uh, some more seaweed. Come on. There we go. We now have a fixed point of reference. Once we have a, a little bit of an oxygen supply, I'd like to get like two or three stacks of the uh, the O2 tanks. But once we have everything, uh, we'll be able to move on and keep exploring the planet a little bit. So, let's see here. Man, there's like no bloody seaweed down here. What the? I don't think I've ever seen this much stuff underwater and not had seaweed. Am I just missing it? Oh, this is not good. Okay. So, let's go ahead and grab... We've got another patch of it right here. We're going to get out of the water. Hopefully. Of 
course, having said that, all right, so let's get back to shore. Really? Go see if our uh, we have more oxygen over there yet. This is a really rough seed. Okay, so... May have spent a little too much time mining. What I should have probably have done is gone ahead and just... When I was over there mining, I should have just gone ahead and placed the uh, the constructor and everything, and got some O2 going that way. That's one. While we're waiting for that, we we'll had put that over here. So uh, yeah, we are in a good situation at this point because we do have oxygen being produced. That is good. We have our. Did I put all that in there? Yeah. So we do have a little bit of fuel. We have our supplies. Come on. Thank you. And what we'll do is we'll basically just sit here and camp out while we wait for the oxygen production to continue. And I think that will be it for this one. I hope everyone is enjoying this. If you uh, are, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the section below. Definitely pay a visit to everybody else's channel that is t taking place in the, uh, the challenge, even if it's just to, you know, well, be polite if you visit their channels. <laughs> Everyone's doing the best that they can with what they've got. So we'll see how it all plays out. Anyway, um, if you haven't done so already, I do ask that you subscribe as the likes, comments, and subscriptions really do help channels to grow. But more importantly, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content, and it's probably the fastest and easiest way to do so. And on that note, I'm out of here. Hope everybody has a terrific day, and we will see you back here next time for more Imperial. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Hmm. I wonder if baiting, uh, baiting drones into a fight. Ha, 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 ha.